Welcome back. The best way to illustrate how to use NPV in capital budgeting is by using an example. Imagine the following case. Alpha is a large company operating in the shipbuilding sector. Its R&D department has made a scientific breakthrough. They have developed a new ship prototype, which will travel 20% faster than existing ship models, and on top, will be 10% more efficient in terms of fuel consumption. However, this innovation requires the construction of a new shipbuilding plant. The project consists of an initial investment of $150 million and will generate after-tax cash inflows of $70 million per year for the next three years, as shown in the following timeline. The company's finance department has assessed that the project's cost of capital is 9%. The firm's CEO wants to know whether the investment would make economic sense, whether it will be a profitable endeavor or not. To do that, he asks his team to determine the net present value of the project. Right. Let's apply the formula for NPV. By substituting the parameters, we obtain the following. The initial cost of the new plant is $150 million, which is denoted with a negative sign because this is a cash outlay. You might notice that the initial investment is not discounted at the opportunity cost of capital because it happens at time zero, which is another way to say it occurs in the present moment. Then, we start with the first cash inflow of $70 million, which is discounted by 1 plus 9%, raised to the power of 1. Similarly, we apply the same procedure to the rest of the cash flows. In the end, we obtain a positive value of $27,190,627. Based on the NPV rule, Alpha Corporation can go ahead with the project, as it creates value. Right, it wasn't difficult, right? Of course, calculating NPV is easier when the number of cash flows is small. However, when we consider bigger investment projects, it's a bit more difficult to find out the net present value. Thankfully, financial calculators and spreadsheet software help us solve such problems. Let's calculate Alpha Corporation's net present value using the Texas Instruments BA2 Plus calculator. We enter cash flow mode by pressing CF. Then, we need to clear the data stored in memory by pressing second CE slash C. Now, we're ready to enter the relevant cash flows. The initial cash flow, cash flow zero, is entered as minus $150 million because it is an outflow for the organization. Then, we input the rest of the cash flows, CO1 equals $70 million. Here, instead of entering the next two flows manually, we can simply change the cash flow frequency from 1 to 3 because their amount is the same as that of the first cash flow. In the end, we enter NPV mode. The discount rate, I, is equal to 9%. And now we can easily compute NPV and obtain $27,190,627. Voila! For those of you who feel rusty using financial calculators, please refer to our video, How to Use a Financial Calculator. Okay, so after calculating the NPV, whether manually or by using a financial calculator, we can infer that Alpha had the opportunity to invest in a new plant by paying $150 million for an investment worth $177.19 million. Therefore, Alpha shareholders increased their wealth by $27.19 million. Remember that when we have an independent project, our decision to invest must be based on the following rule. If the NPV is above zero, we invest. If it is below zero, then we don't. Great. In the next lesson, we'll demonstrate how to apply the internal rate of return. Thanks for watching.